Hey guys, it's Russell back and on today's video I am going to be showing you how to remove and reinstall a power steering gearbox. Now it's like 40 degrees out here. I've got on about five layers. I'm freezing to death, but I got to get this done and the wind's blowing. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully I'm not going to punk out too much. But anyway, why am I doing this? Number one, I have a leak that is on the output shaft of the gearbox itself. I believe it's the original one to the truck. It's got about almost 200,000 miles on it. And number two, I have a lot of steering play in the gearbox itself. Now, whoever had this truck before me never changed the power steering fluid. So, you know, that's uh, part of the problem is when you don't do that, you get a lot of wear in the gearbox itself. Uh, you can go back and look at a couple videos I did. I installed the, showed you how to flush the power steering system and also showed you how to install a power steering filter. That combined with good maintenance and the new gearbox will probably last as long as the truck is still on the road. I'm going with a Troy Lee steering gearbox. I've done research probably for about six months and they have an absolutely stellar reputation. They're out of California. And the gearboxes are pretty expensive. I think this one was um, a little under $500. And you're like, why would you spend that much for a gearbox? Well, let me explain. Uh, number one, if you go to Advance or AutoZone or Pep Boys, you'll probably spend uh, around 200 bucks for a gearbox. But those things, I'm telling you, you read horror stories about them leaking and all that and just not feeling right, being loose. This gearbox is done right, I promise you. Uh, so I'm willing to pay the extra money to get a really good, uh, probably better than what came on it with the factory uh, settings. Now, it's not a hard job to do. On a four-wheel drive truck like this, it's a little bit different than on a two-wheel drive truck. It's a little bit more of a pain, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I'm gonna show you a trick on how to make sure if you have your truck already aligned, how to keep that alignment because there's a sequence you need to do this stuff in to ensure that you don't mess up your alignment. So with that being said, let's stop talking and let's start turning some wrenches. All right, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to slide back this uh, cover that's on here. This just keeps anything from getting into the uh, rotating mass as you wanna say it. So it just slides back. Just like that. <clears throat> and it's just enough to get to the bolt and I'll show you what that looks like next. So at the um, point where the lower steering shaft, selector shaft goes into the gearbox, there is a 11 millimeter bolt that you need to remove. like that. So this step is critical before you remove the lower selector shaft from the gearbox. Make sure that your steering wheel is absolutely perfectly level where you want it. Okay. So mine is, and this normally is how the truck will go down the road. So the alignment's good. So now we can disconnect the selector shaft from the gearbox itself. All right, so take a pry bar or a large screwdriver and you're just going to, and I'm gonna hold my hand on the top of this so it doesn't rotate. All right, that's pretty much how it should look. You'll see a flat spot on the top and uh, it's 99% it's off. All right, next I'm going to extract the fluid that's in the reservoir out with uh, my Mighty Might extractor. All right, so I've got my pig pad here. This is just a, a piece of uh, it's a synthetic media that will hold the petroleum products if they, if they get on it, basically like a, it's like a pad. 
So this is 18 millimeter and we will loosen the two lines. All right, so hopefully the uh, GoPro will pick up the shot. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the cotter pin from where the pitman arm goes into the center link. All right, this is a 22 millimeter bolt on here. All right, so because I am not reusing the pitman arm, I'm gonna use my air hammer and uh, push this off. All right, so there are three bolts that hold the gearbox to the frame. One here, one there, and one there. All right, so the bolts are loose. The only thing holding it is the uh, joint where the pitman arm goes into the center link. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, air hammer again. All right, so I went ahead and installed the Zerk fitting into the uh, back of the pitman arm where we grease it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. And we'll put our lock washer on. gently and just set it on the, the cross member there we go. all right so I've got that set in there and I'm gonna hold try to get the bottom bolt started All right, so I, I decided to just take this apart so I can show you guys what it looks like. So basically this just slides out like that. You have this piece of metal that acts like a, almost like a spring, produces tension on this. So don't freak out if you take it apart. And uh, now I'm gonna make it so it slides really good. So I'm just gonna take some of the same grease that I use on the ball joint, this is the Conklin Rhino grease, because I'm gonna have to do this job again to replace that rag joint with the um, Jeep Cherokee one. But anyway, so the way that this goes back together is you just take the shaft, you take this, it's got a notch, you do this so it's facing up. All right, now I'm gonna show you how this goes together before putting the uh, the cover on and it just slides together like this okay so it's designed to move and you should be able to do that if if it wasn't frozen um, we wouldn't be having this video so I'm actually glad this happened all right we've got our joint right so this is the easiest way to do this is I'm gonna put it on the gearbox first Okay, it's on there. I'm gonna grab the bolt and screw the bolt in there just enough so that it doesn't slide. Okay, that's not going anywhere. Then I'm just gonna take this 
and because it'll slide out now properly, there, that's it, easy. So if you have trouble with this, take um, the joint loose. All right, so I don't know how much you're gonna actually be able to see, but we'll try at least. All right, so I'm gonna fire it up. Let's see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit a little while. I'll uh, turn it lock to lock again manually, and then we'll. Uh, get the hose and clean up our mess.